President Biden has unveiled his plan to release 15 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Reserve in response to OPEC Plus production cuts. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman joins us now with the details. Hey, Rick. Hey. Uh, right. So uh, Biden is now going to uh, release more oil from the U.S. Strategic Reserve, another 15 mil million barrels. This is a continuation of a program that's been going on since uh, since May. And that was originally supposed to end in October, and it has now been extended into November and then into December. And I wonder why that might be. Oh, it could only be the midterm elections. Biden obviously wants to look like he's doing something continually to get uh, gasoline prices down. There's another important element of this, though, that's new. It's getting uh, less attention, but it might be more important. Uh, the by the uh, Energy Department is going to do something new, and they're going to uh, enter into contracts to buy oil from the private sector, from the market, um, at prices of around $70. And the reason that's important is that it is telling uh, oil producers that there's going to be demand for oil even when the price falls below uh, current levels. Um, so, uh, so the government is kind of establishing itself as a customer of last resort, if you will. And the thinking behind this is uh, oil producers will say, Oh, well, if oil prices fall, we will still be able to sell it to the government uh, at prices where we can make a profit. And so that's a little bit of extra demand that producers know will be there in the future, and that might get them to produce more oil. We will find out. This goes all the way into 23, 24, and, and probably even into 2025. So it's meant to have a long-term effect on oil supplies. But that also continues the sort of thorny questions of climate change and the sort of push-pull that the Biden administration has done with the oil industry, right? If they're, yeah. you know, saying on the one hand, everybody should be transitioning to renewables. On the other hand, we're going to be buying oil from you for a few years for $70. But I guess that also helps ease the tra that transition for the oil companies. Uh, you're right, Julie. But I think one of the things that we've, we should have clearly learned in 2022 is we need a better, a better bridging strategy mm -hmm. from fossil fuels to uh, renewables because we don't have nearly enough renewables to replace fossil fuels right now. And because markets, uh, energy markets are priced at the margins, you can have just a small shortfall of oil or natural gas or whatever it might be, and prices can double or, or go up by more than double. So, uh, you know, Obama, during the Obama administration, uh, he had a phrase, you know, what's our approach to uh, energy? All of the above. And I think Democrats got away from that and they pushed a little bit too hard on renewables without figuring out how to meet, it, you know, the demand for the fuel that we need today. And I don't think Biden's going to come out and say this, but I think what we're seeing from the Biden administration is kind of an all of the above energy strategy, which is acknowledge that we need these fossil fuels today and we need to, we need to uh, assure these supplies for the next several years, while at the same time, uh, pushing for renewables. Good analysis, Yahoo Finance's senior columnist Rick Newman. Good to see you. Hi, guys.